Hi everybody, my name is Shauna, and I thought I'd give you a video review on season one of Outlander. I know you're asking why do it now, but it's summer, you can catch up. So, here you go. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Um, I am one who has read the books and am watching the TV series. So, I will try to talk around the book spoilers and if I happen to give away one or two, I apologize. Um, so please forgive me if I do. This is my first video, so it's a little choppy in places. Um, so let's begin. I have a couple of thoughts first. Uh, the music is fabulous. Bear McCrary has done a wonderful job. Uh, the music just draws you in. So you, you will see the, the music draw you in with the story as well. Um, the actors themselves, uh, Sam Hewen as Jamie, he's fabulous. We all love Jamie. He he will just melt your heart in places, and also just grow as a character. Katrina Belf as as Claire will make you uh, wanna just go <laughs> at times, and also just break your heart at times as well. And Tobias Menzies, we all know who the Tobias plays. He will just, he's fabulous, he's phenomenal. Um, he plays Frank Randall. He also plays Black Jack Randall, the six times great-grandfather of Frank. Um, if you watch the series, you will see how fabulous he is. He, how he can manage to play both roles so differently uh, you'll be like the rest of us going how does he do that um, you just sometimes wonder how he can manage to just by the costuming pull off both of those roles um, so those are just a few thoughts now on to the why I'm doing this video for each each episode of season one um, the first topic I want to talk about is Frank Randall um, because in the book Frank Randall doesn't have a lot of dimensions because Diana has done it that way because we don't we don't see Frank Randall in the book too much once she goes through the stones but he is in the book enough in the first few chapters to realize that he and Claire are trying to pull their marriage back together after being separated for so long but you can tell there's a disconnect there and they're trying to get it back together but once the the stones happen and she goes back to the stones there's Jamie as the third character in here and every once in a while you know he Frank is mentioned after she goes back but Jamie still has that pull on her in the book and she's you know she says she she needs to get back but there's that connection between her and, and Jamie that always pulls her so in the book Frank is not mentioned a whole lot but in this TV series Tobias Menzies who does the character of Frank Randall gives him a lot more dimension so that you see how Tobias plays him and and he's more multifaceted and you see how the emotions play across Frank's face when she disappears you you realize you know he does love her and even though they've been separated for so long you know there was that connection with her you know and he did love her and he you know even though he might have he might have you know strayed during his time at the war you know he she was his wife and he did love her and he wanted to reconnect with her after the war but then when she fell through the stones there was no way she was you know she was separated from him again um, and then so you can see everything that Tobias plays across his face as Frank Randall the fact that he does miss Claire he is worried about where she's going and you know is she going to come back and um, so you know that's how well Tobias 
plays Frank, you know, everything, you know, in his body language says, you know, where, where is Claire? You know, is she coming back? Will she come back? When, and when, you know, and, you know, his worry, you know, when he, when he sees the car is, you know, what happened to her? So, you know, that's the difference between book Frank and TV Frank. And that's why I personally like the TV Frank better. So that's just some thoughts I had on, on the differences between book Frank and TV Frank. You know, what's your thoughts? So let me know. And moving on to subject two, Jamie and the Highlanders. Um, you can tell when Claire finally gets to actually see the Highlanders when when Marta takes her to the cabin. Um, she desperately wants to get out of there because she doesn't know where she is. But when Jamie is is hurt, she her medical training comes in and she can't stand somebody to be hurt. So that takes over, of course. But there's one thing I noticed in this is that um, when she is face to face with Jamie for the first time and he with her, there's something that plays across Jamie's face and this is this is how good Sam Hewen plays it, is that there's something that plays across his face and that's trust. He Jamie can Jamie trusts her from the very beginning. And when I say that, I mean from the minute she's in the cabin face to face with him, he trusts her because you can see the trust play across his face when she's getting ready to set his arm. He trusts her from that from that moment. The next scene that I liked, which was the passing out scene. When he passes out and she's fixing his shoulder, um, he's waking up after passing out and he's just looking at her. Um, there's, there's that look that he gets in his eyes that I personally think that's the minute he fell in love with her. And you see that something is in his eyes that just says she's the one and he knows it and that's the minute I think he fell in love with her so these are just my thoughts from someone that that has you know I like I said like I said at the beginning of this video I know the books I know what's gonna happen but you know that's me I've read the books I love to read um, but I I can see the the TV series as a different medium so I enjoy the TV series for for what it's worth um, if there if there will be changes to it I can understand the changes if necessary but you know I won't flip out so if you do watch the series please let me know um, and let me know what you think so and, and if you happen to like my video and my thoughts uh, click the button below let me know and or subscribe until next episode for episode two talk to you later bye